back on the boot. Uh, yeah. Saturday, we're a bit late to talk to you, but we made it, thanks to Kadji's Hamilton driving skills. But, yeah, it, let's see what we can get today. Daz is in here somewhere. He's trying to avoid us, so we're going to find him and we're going to jump in. For what? I've just sold one of them, but... That's missing there, can't be arsed with that. <coughs> yeah, but the, one, the other one I had was... I did have it for a bit, but... You got some, yeah, there's some scales here for you. That's for your other hustle and that, yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at all this, it's like Star Wars stuff, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely Star Wars. <laughs> Where? Oh, no, that's Harry Potter, isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that is, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> no, it's just got fucking... Like, I don't know. Is that like a head we got Harry Potter? Oh, they're ninja. How much is the box? The Lego in the box. Oh, the Lego, uh, 15. For the whole box? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that's a deal, right, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's like a Ninjago one, isn't it? Lego like Ninjago, yeah. So I like that. Thank you. A few, Morning, few, few baby wipes in that for you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, the wrong there. <laughs> Some good figures in there. You want to check the box, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> These ones. Few marks on Jesse. <clears throat> um, yeah, but look at them. Do you what's up with it? Get the fucking. Yeah, it's good again. Both of them Nah. The Disney Pixar, not Sinclair, is it? Look at Look at these, look what he's just found. Mm. Guy only wants 40 quid for this. Warhammer 40k, Mikey. See all them all the time, lad. Oh, right, yeah. Here's Daz Luck. Found him. What you found now, Daz? Oh, no. Lord of the Rings. Oh, Daz. I've got more glasses now, I can read. <laughs> Some Jordans here, look. They're size 5, though, but they're a bit small. How much are the Jordans? Eight quid? It's not bad, to be fair. I need Daz. Daz knows he's about shoes, doesn't he? A little bit of Sandra on that one. Okay, here, look, we've got a few old school Star Wars. £2 any item there on the toys £2 for anything any, Well, each item, sir <clears throat> Yeah, imagine that, yeah £2 a toy Is this guy Woody? <clears throat> What's this? Train set in a tin Can't even open the cup some figures down here. Oh, I've got some of them at home already, so I might put that to one side. <clears throat> Yoshi dude. What's this? World of Warcraft Mega Blocks. We'll have a look at that. You are? Scanned the back of that truck and said, Do I know you got a missed last week? Fuck all. And when I looked at it and searched it, it was £4. 
Yeah, yeah. Did you well? I don't think so. Two quid in it for all this. If you find it, it yeah, like this. Starting to get busy again now. Oh, these little lead rhinos. Uh, yeah, what was it? A step Best thing about the shirts at the minute as well is that there's no selling fees on clothes anymore, is there? If you can find any good ones. We'll definitely end up having them. It's like NFL Rams. <coughs> Not a squeeze for you. <coughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, I am. Um, and four quid each for these t-shirts, so we're going to have that one and that one. Bargain. <laughs> this game looks old school, this. 1965. What is it? What is it? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, 1965. Yeah, I just noticed something. How much yeah. you want him for? It's in lovely condition. I mean, it's, it's like not 15 quid, but it's it's in really really nice condition. No, it's, no, it's just the opposite. Yeah, Go for broke, so you try and lose all your money. Yeah. Uh, oh, a, <laughs> there's a modern version you can get, but uh, this is the old original one. Game new radio. That, that can't be right, can it? Oh, I've been too far. <clears throat> Probably not. No, I think so. I think somebody's found that and popped it in. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, uh, more than likely. Yeah. I actually thought it said twenty-four ninety-nine. Yeah. I'm checking it out. How much is the iron? Fifteen, mate. Lovely working condition. It's nice, though. Yeah, it's in. Uh, yeah, it's in good nick. Yeah, that's the thing. Buying them brand new, they're expensive, aren't they? Oh god, yeah. 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 Certainly. Some nice stuff. That's not what I was going to comment, <clears throat> but I don't know if it is. To be honest, mate, I'm just, I'm just assuming that it's not. Are all the figures all different prices yeah, out there? Different. How much are the turtles? Um, I think that one, hang on, I've got a list. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah. What about all the stuff in this box down here? Is it again just all different? 50p. 50p an item, yeah? They have 50p in there. Just <coughs> drop it in, you sausage. Uh, I don't think so. Mad looking car. There's a Pokemon ball. <coughs> There's like tiny little figures, but. Oh, 
Cheers, Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Thank Yeah, I'll have it off you for a quid anyway, mate. Yeah, no right, the day's getting on a little bit. So we're going to go check out the guy with all the footy shirts, see if he's got any more out. Yeah, right. Thank you. All these shorts here look two quid. I still got tags on. <laughs> I've that all day long for two quid. That's us done for the day. I'll give Daz his Yodas. Quick disclaimer, yeah, if none of these work, no refunds, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's all that one yeah, it does work. Yeah, it's it's they do work. Own, so I yeah, laughing. I reckon uh, find of the day is these bad boys. I've just got money in them. Wanker. Right, we're back from the car boot now, so we'll run through some of the things we picked up today. We did have a bit of a mess up, really, because I just didn't take all my money with me. Um, I rushed about a little bit this morning. So if I'm honest with you, I had a little bit of a, a few bevies last night, me and Jesse. Um, kids went to bed, whatever, chilled, had a few drinks, and I woke up. Boom, head was pounding. Yeah, I'm getting too old for this old drinking malarkey. My head was pounding. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? Kaji messaged me. He said, are you coming to car boot or what, lad? And I was like, mate, pff, I still got to get to your house. I don't know if I'm going to make it in time. He was like, yeah, shut up, sausage. I'll come pick you up. Do you know what I mean? He's a top lad, helps me out a lot. He said, I'll come pick you up, no problem. All right, then, let's do it, mate. And my head was pounding all the way there in the car. I felt like I was going to be sick. I was like, oh my God, what am I doing here? And... By the time I got there, I realised that I didn't get any extra money out of the bank or anything. I only had the money what was in my wallet, which was like 40 quid or something. So I, there was some really good stuff there today, which I could have got, but I didn't because I just didn't have the money to... But I could have... I, like I said, there was one thing, a Warhammer box that was 40 quid, and that would have been all my money gone. And I probably should have still bought it, but I just didn't want to spend my full 40 quid on one item rather than getting a few things. So my mission for today was cheap items things that are like a couple of quid here and there that hopefully will flip into some bigger stuff but let's see what we've got anyway because i mean it is what it is isn't it can't go back in time and change anything so we'll run through what we got so the first couple of picks up was the footy shirts well rugby rugby shirts and a football shirt but one one of them is fake but i'll be wearing that myself keep it missing but we got a Leeds Rhinos, rugby shirt, decent condition, paid four quid for the shirts, and we got this one as well, which is more like a polo top, tight one, another Leeds Rhino, so these are all in larges, I mean it says large on them, but I'm not a large guy, but they don't, don't seem to come off too far off me, but yeah, we've got two rugby shirts, four quid each, and then the guy said to me, because I every time we go there, that guy's always there and he's always got loads of footy shirts, rugby shirts, whatever. So I always have a look what he's got and we get a few things off him. And he did show me these and he said to you, I'll be honest, mate, they, they're, they're fake. And I was like, all right, cool, no worries. Thanks for letting me know, whatever. He said, seeing as you bought two already, if you want this, you can have it for a couple of quid. So I said, yeah, I'll get it. 
you know what I mean? It's a nice T-shirt, isn't it? I don't care if it's fake, I'll wear it. Kaj Kaji said I, uh, he's invited me to go play footy with him and a few of his lads on a Friday. So I'll have to go show him my top baller skills and um, all these extra footy shirts that I've got now that I'm not selling or any fake ones that I buy and didn't realise it was fake at the time. I'll just wear them for footy. So it's a win-win. Two quid for a training top to go training in. We did also get... These were later on pickups it, it, towards the end of the day, but we've got a couple of pairs of shorts. These are literally two quid each, absolutely bargains. We've got a pair of Manchester United ones. Uh, these are also in a large, which is buzzing. Because large always sells well. And we've got a pair of Leeds ones. I don't know why that, Gaza, that guy had loads of Leeds stuff, whether it's Leeds rugby or Leeds football. He's always got loads of them. So these are in a medium, these. And these have got tags on still, which is always a plus. The RIP on these were 30 quid. I paid two quid. But I don't know if... See, one guy said to me these are was the third kit. And then Daz reckons that these were a goalkeeper kit. So I don't know. But either way, two quid. So even, even if these sell on like vinted, even if these like vinted sells for like a tenner, or 15 quid a pair and stuff like that. That's still decent little flips. The rugby shirts and that will definitely be going on eBay for like 25 to 30 pounds. Because that's easy money. Any any kind of footy shirts, if I'm getting for like less than a fiver, I'm getting them all day long. I did also get this, another Imagine X set. Um, I only paid two quid for it. And I only got it because I've sold a fair few Imagine X bits now. So they sell for me. And I've got loads of Imagine X figures and stuff that I can bundle things like this up with just to get it out the door there is a little bit there's a little bit of grub on that on there obviously a kid's well played with it like but i just chuck big jesse a pack of baby wipes and she'll soon give it a clean down do you know what i mean no problem i did get for me this was one of the best buys for me for the day i think um and it is the ninja turtles pizza truck thing still in its box as well the only thing is the guy said to me, because he had a big bags, these three big bags of like all this stuff. And it said on it, one pound for anything. And I was like, hey, up, oh, quid's in. But he said, everything in there is either faulty, got bits missing, damaged, whatever. And I was looking through a lot of the stuff and they did have some good stuff, but like some uh, Jurassic Park dinosaur things, but then he had no tail on. And I was like, it's pointless, not even for a quid, there's no point getting it because no one's going to buy it. But then he had this and it literally even says on the box, it's got a faulty label on the box look. I don't know if you can see that. But it literally says on it, the pizza thrower has no power. So obviously this bit, what pops out and it shoots the pizzas, it doesn't shoot the pizzas, which for a quid, I'm going to pick it up. Do you know what I mean? There'll be somebody, people will still pay 15 to 20 quid for this when just because it doesn't shoot the pizzas. Like someone will still buy it for the kid to play with or whatever. It's literally in a box still. The RRP on it is 40 quid. So if you're buying this brand new in a box, you're paying like 40 quid for a working one. So hopefully we can get like 15 for it when the pizza thrower thing don't work. But it's pretty much, I mean, it's still in its box. Do you know what I mean? It's mint condition. Tell it's, it's never been played with or anything. Mint condition. Oh, drop the pizzas out of it. But yeah, for a quid. Do you know what I mean? Anything Ninja Turtles, I'm picking up all day long because Ninja Turtles stuff sells well. But like I say, we didn't get anything amazing today because i left all my money behind and i didn't have loads of money oh oh i got this as well i never forgot about this so we got this off the 50p guy i don't think we got this on video but I, the only reason i got it was because it was 50p do you know what i mean you're not going to say no but it is a full jack and jones suit still got its tags on and everything slim fit pair of trousers and a jacket for 50p absolute bargain so like i say even at 50p even if that goes on vintage and even if you only sell it for 10 15 quid on vintage you paid 50p for it boys you can't complain but yeah that is that is all the buys there's nothing else that i forgot now um so yeah it's not really not not an amazing day kadji had a mint day today proper mint day he's he had the money to spend on some big items and he, he's gonna he's gonna pay off for him big time um like he got two warhammer boxes 
Um, I can't remember how much he paid for both of them exactly, but we spotted him. And I was like, yeah, but these are going to be money. And a guy tried blagging us, trying to say, oh, I know about Warhammer, blah, I sell on eBay everything, lads. Uh, 40 quid for this box. You can sell this all day long for 80 quid on eBay, whatever. Opened it up, had a look inside, and I was like, mate, this is more than a 40, 80 quid box on Warhammer, whatever. Search the solids, it's like £180. So he clearly doesn't know what he's on about, because if he did, he would not be selling it on a car boot for 40 quid, mate. It would be on his eBay for 150 to 180 pounds all day long. So he's waffling. There was a guy as well who had the, I don't know what it was, like a little device thing that had a price tag on it of $250. And mental, do you know what I mean? I don't know what he's thinking with that. I can't remember how, even how much he asked for it. He's like, oh, fiver. He clearly knew that it wasn't worth $250. So I don't know why he had the price tag on there for that. I'm trying to obviously blag it as a big thing, but you got to try your luck, I suppose. So tomorrow, we're hopefully going to be hitting Slate House. Uh, go with Jess and the kids, potentially. It depends on the weather and stuff and if it's even going to be on because we know what Slate House is like. Shit houses. Let us down three weeks in a row. So we'll see if they redeem themselves tomorrow or not. If not, we'll just pull some video out of our ass. I know last week, I haven't done many videos throughout last week just because I've been working. Do you know what I mean? I'm a working man. It's very hard to do the day's graft, come home, list things on eBay, and then get videos out as well, especially when you've got no content to really film. Like the only content I would have had is, oh, this is what we sold, this is what we sold, Did that, then that's it. Quick five-minute videos, that's all it's going to be. So rather than just putting up pointless videos, I just thought, I'm just whatever, wait until the weekend, get to car boot, let's get a car boot video out, because we all love on the boot. But that's it from today. Tomorrow at Slate House, we hope. Another video, and then we'll go through what sales we've had over the weekend. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody who's liking, commenting on the videos all the time, and subscribing. It does mean a lot. If we get to, I think we've only got 100. 100 subs to go, and then we're doing a giveaway on this bad boy. So, literally 100 subs. Do you know what I mean? If every single one of you all get one person to subscribe... We'll fly there in no time. We've got like 650 subs now, or 660. So if you all get one person, then that'll actually push me over 1K. And then I'll start getting some money for doing all these videos. Which I'm not bothered about that. I'm not actually bothered about the money. I don't mind. I enjoy doing the videos anyway. But it would be nice to get some money as well. If we can get to 1K, then that's buzzing. But all we need is 100, and then you've got another giveaway. And then when we get to K, we'll do another giveaway. And then when we get to 1.5, we'll do another giveaway. We'll just keep doing giveaways, because that's, that's what it's about, yeah? I'm going to give you all something back from me. But that's it. I'll see you tomorrow at the car boot again. Over and out.